Hi everyone, today I'm gonna to get into the lung transplant process. If you are thinking of having a transplant or preparing for one, this video will hopefully be helpful. For those of you who are not familiar with the process, the procedure is usually a last resort for critical lung disease. For example, pulmonary hypertension, which is what I had, and pulmonary venoocclusive disease, cystic fibrosis, COPD, among others. Once the decision is made to have a lung transplant, the process of evaluation begins. The transplant team assesses your overall physical and mental health, and they also examine your support system because they know that someone is gonna have to be there for you during this process. It's also important to remember that each transplant center might have different criteria for this. If you were approved for transplant, you will be placed on a waiting list. The wait time varies greatly and is influenced by several factors, including blood type, severity of illness, and the availability of donor lungs. Now about the surgery itself. During the procedure, the diseased lung or lungs are replaced with healthy ones from a donor. It is a very complex operation that can take anywhere between four and 12 hours. Mine took about 10 hours because there were complications. Post-transplant care is crucial. The first few days are spent in the ICU followed by a few weeks in the hospital. It is crazy to think that you could be released from the hospital after just a few weeks, after such an incredibly invasive procedure. After you're discharged, frequent checkups and an assortment of medicine become a part of your life. This medicine is to keep your lungs intact, to preserve their health, and to make sure that your body doesn't start fighting the organ. In my case, which was actually really exciting, though terribly painful, uh, my surgeon, Dr. Abbas Ardahali, wanted me to walk the day after surgery. The fact that you have to get up and walk after surgery is painful but in incredibly encouraging, I feel, because it just goes to show how capable our body is of being resilient in a scenario like that where you were literally cut into in a very, very intense way. And I just wanna mention one thing, which I mention frequently because it's something I would have wanted to know. When you wake up from the transplant, many people say, oh my goodness, I can breathe, this is amazing and I did not have that experience. When I woke up, I could not breathe very well at all. I was extremely short of breath. I couldn't finish a sentence. I had a little bit of a panic. So what did happen is eventually over time, you basically breathe into your lungs and as you breathe, your lungs expand and they become one with you because the nerves at first are not connected, which is insane. So over the course of time, as these lungs become yours, the nerves connect and you end up breathing into your lungs. So I just wanted to warn you that if you do have a lung transplant and you wake up and all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I can't breathe, that's what happened to me. Of course, everybody's experience with transplant is very unique. Mine did not follow anything of what I just expressed before this moment. My experience was a very traumatic one with, if you know my story, you've heard this so many times, but with cardiac arrest, being in a coma, being on life support, ECMO, and having terrible, terrible, terrible pain. I got very lucky that I received lungs because truthfully it can take a while for the right match to come in. I will be sharing a lot more about my experience in greater depth. I'm also working on a course. It's a free course that I'm offering that is all about mindset and all about a lot of the things that I did for the 14 years that I've kept myself alive, having been given a fatal diagnosis and days to live. I will be offering it via my new site called whatifeverythinggoesright.com. If you would like to receive a copy of the course, which will be available soon enough, then leave your email at whatifeverythinggoesright.com. So I hope this video was helpful. As always, if you guys have questions, please leave them for me in the comments of anything, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, there's so many places, but just anywhere that I see them and I will do my best to answer them. I hope you are well, I hope you're happy, and I will see you soon.